given to the poor, the registers you from the company of the poor. Let me repeat that again. Given to the poor, the registers you from the list of the poor. That is, every time you give to the poor, you are simply saying, I will never go to this level. I will never go down. When you are giving to the poor, you are simply saying, I will never go down. Nobody gives to the poor and end as poor. In Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 11, the scripture tells us, the poor will not cease in the land. Even in the church. Because not everybody believes the message of prosperity. So there will be poor people in the church. Simply because they don't believe. Some are afflicted with poverty. Some are unbelievers to the subject of prosperity. So they end in poverty. You choose either prosperity or poverty. There are people who believe all the messages on healing, but they don't believe the message of prosperity. Why not? They remain in poverty. And the rich in the church have to help them. They shall not cease in the land. They shall not cease among our family members. They shall not cease among, you know, people in our neighborhood. So plenty of opportunity. That's why checking through scriptures, God gives priority of blessing to people who cater for the poor. Proverbs 28, 27. Proverbs 19, verse 17. He that giveth to the poor shall not lack. Can you see that? Shall not lack. You have removed your name from being a man in lack. But he that hideth his eyes shall have many a cause. See, when you don't give to the poor, they curse you. Especially when they know you have it. He that had pity upon the poor lended unto the Lord. So you see, when you give to the poor, you are simply raising your bank account level with God. You are lending to God. And you know, when God pays back, he pays with interest. And that which he had given... Will God pay him again? God pays the people who cater for the poor. He pays them. He pays them. Those who cater for the poor. And he pays them, according to Psalm 41 verses 1 to 3, he pays them not just with money, with good health, with protection and all of that. When you give to the poor, they give you what we call goodwill. Goodwill. You know there is blessing from heaven and there is goodwill from around you. There are people who are praying for you, for giving to them. You give somebody 5,000, their prayer is heavy. Amen? The highest order of prayer people pray for others is towards those who give. It's towards those who give. I know what I'm talking about. Blessing from heaven, goodwill from among men, especially the poor that you cater for. Now, please listen to this. Jesus catered for the poor. John 13, 29, from 27 to 29, uh, when Jesus told uh, Judas, that with that word, do quickly. And you know what they interpreted it to be? Because that was his culture. That was his practice. Verse 29. For some of them thought, because Judas had the bag, See, the only official that Jesus had was a bag carrier, money carrier. That Jesus has said unto him, buy those things that we have need of against the feast, or that he should give something to the poor. It was in Jesus' culture to be given to the poor. He left us an example that we should follow in his step. As the Father has sent him, so he has sent us to be given to the poor. Look at this. Luke chapter 4 verse 18. When Jesus was telling the world about his agenda, what did he say? Luke 4 18. The Spirit of the Lord God is over me because he has anointed me, number one, to preach the gospel to the poor. Jesus had priority attention paid to the poor. To preach the gospel to the poor. To preach the gospel to the poor. Why? He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. Many people are broken hearted because they are poor. If you take care of poverty, you have taken care of many lacks and one. To preach deliverance to the captive, many are under bondage because of poverty. Recovering of sight to the blind, 
Many have become blinded because they have money for treatment. They don't have money for treatment of their eyes. To set at liberty that are bruised, many are injured, battered in business because they are poor. So Jesus said, get them to be rich. It will handle many afflictions of their lives. There are many who have died because they couldn't afford treatment of 5,000 naira. Some don't even go to the hospital because they are afraid of what they will tell them. By the grace of God, learning from God's servant, our father, on an annual basis, my wife and I had the privilege to go to our community back at home to cater for people in their health, including, you know, surgery for those who need high, you know, surgery. At heaven's cost that he delivered to us. So Jesus took care of the poor. So when you take care of the poor, you are behaving like Jesus. He told parables of taking care of the poor when he talked about the Samaritan. Who saw somebody who was injured and took care of him. From today, you'll be taking care of the poor. <laughs> <laughs>